Uh, hello guys and welcome to another class in this class we're going to have some exercises of simple present so uh, we will have to complete these next sentences they ha so they have a meaning so let's see like as you can see I got an example for you which is number five so it says does he know the answer so basically as I said we're talking about present simple so basically you have to know the rules for the simple present so you can know the answers so please write these 10 sentences in your notebook so you can answer them and once you have written them in your notebook you can answer them and and please pause the video take your time so you can actually uh, answer them correctly so you don't have any mistakes just go ahead and pause the video once you're done you can play the video so you can know the answers so in the first one it says I usually go to school well basically in this case go will have to be as it, as it is so I usually go to school number two it says you basketball once a week so we have the verb play so as in the other one we'll have to put play as a series in the infinite tense so in the third one this one in this case the verb will change because it says Linda of her sister so Linda is talking about uh, she so basically in simple present when there's a third person we have to put an s after the verb as you know that so it will have to be linda takes care of her sister so it's that's the answer number four it says lori traveled to paris every sunday so as in the other one in the third one it's uh, we're talking about a third person so it says lori travels to par to Paris every Sunday. So number five was the temple. So, but as you can see, it is a question, and as you know, in the questions we have to start with the to or the does, whichever the the occasion is. So maybe we have to, it is a third person or it isn't. When it is a third person, we have to put does or when it's like I, you, you know, like we, they, it's only two. So maybe do they or something, do I. So in this case, we're talking about a third person. So it's does he know the answer. Number six says, I not think you're right. So now you will have to complete the sentences. So in the first one, well, in the number six, it is I don't think you are right. Because we're talking about, uh, in this case, we have a negative uh, option that it says not. So I do not or I don't think you are right. Number seven says you watch out of TV. So in this case, you watch out of TV. It has to be you you watch out of TV as it is. Because they're not, uh, they're not even talking about a question form or something so it's as serious you watch it off TV so in the number four it is the exact same thing you not drink too much tea but in this case we're talking about a negative um, sentence so it is you don't drink much tea so number so number nine as you can see we have another negative uh, sentence so in this case we're talking about third uh, third person which is she so it's going to be she doesn't walk to school so number well the last one it says how he carries such a big bag as you can see we have the inter interrogative inter interrogative uh, interrogative uh, mark so as you know when we have those it means that it's basically a question so it is how he carries such a heavy bag so in this case as, you, as I told you uh, we have to start with do or does depending on 
the subject so in this case is he third person so it is does he well no as we are as we are starting as with how it is how does he carry carry such a heavy pack so at the end don't forget to to put it to put it there so those are the 10 the 10 sentences so i hope you have them right so before we we finish i will i will let you some homework so you can um, so you can actually understand better or practice even more the this tense so these are the 12 uh, sentences that you will have to do for homework so in the next class we can check them with you it's pretty simple it's exactly the same thing we did in the other sentences but you will have to basically put the the correct sent well the correct uh, tense maybe not tense you know the correct form of the verb so they make so they actually can be understood so do that for homework and see you hi guys okay now we're gonna do some exercise of past simple so we have uh, two sentences in positive right here the first one says that John cabled blank space the verb we have to use is tail to American in 1498. We don't know that is it that these exercise exercises are in past. We can view out that is in past because we have a date, right? And says is in 19 in 14 sorry 98. So, what is the answer? Sale. Very good. Remember that the verbs, if the verb is regular, we just add it at the end an ed okay now number two we a good film last week that is the other keyword that we know that is in past last week or last month or last saturday etc so what is what is the answer yes we saw this this verb is irregular okay now number three we we have the not do because it's a negative or homework last night we what we didn't do our homework last night very good now number four he is also negative now have time to visit the Eiffel Tower he didn't have if you see when we use the auxiliary did we, we say the verb is in the same form right now number five a bicycle when you were young did you have a bicycle when you were young yes i did or no i didn't number six in this one uh is she or he you can use both so the answer is did he do or did she do much climbing in switzerland Okay, now for this pause, for this part, you pause the video and copy these 10 sentences on your notebook for the homework, okay? And we're going to check this on the next class. Thank you, guys.